I am making myself a lem sip. I have had a cold all week. It seems that everyone has this cold at the moment or have had this cold. Delilah's absolutely fine and Doug and I are full of cold. This has been me every day carrying around my hot water bottle for my tissues. I asked on Instagram yesterday, um, what's your favourite thing to see during Vlogtober slash what would you like to see during Vlogtober? And the thing that came up the most was just everyday life, everyday mundanes, mooching around the house and um, that, that I can definitely give you today. We've had a couple of deliveries. One is one is just a big box of loo roll but then this one is from zara this is the first time i've put makeup on and got dressed properly all week i've been rolling out of bed every morning putting the same leggings and jumper on and i thought today i just need to get dressed and put some makeup on and maybe i can trick myself into feeling better i wanted to replace the tablecloth currently on the table because it feels quite feels quite summery. I wanted to replace it with one that felt a bit more autumn winter. Already I know I'll be sending this one back. I think I might have ordered this one before and send it back because I didn't like how brown the uh, lighter part of the checked fabric was. Not sure I'm feeling that. That one's going to go back. I'm really glad I ordered this other colour. I don't know, what would you call that? Kind of a terracotta. This one is a little bit bigger than the current one um, but I'm hoping I'm hoping that won't be an issue let's just move to Lila's game stick this in the wash you'll see why we have a tablecloth it really needs to be sanded down and retreated and it's covered in paint and glue so we'll do that when we replace it so we can give it to another home this can go in the wash stick that in we have a very short table so it might be a bit big, but we'll roll with it. I say that and I'm more than capable at using a sewing machine. So if it is too big, I can I can just um I can just make it smaller. Oh I do like it though. Then I don't want it to oh oh it's very big. I'm definitely gonna have to get the sewing machine out and make it a bit smaller. For now I've folded it up um at the back. And without realising it's actually actually quite an autumnal autumnal tablecloth. I'm not really one for buying autumn decor or having little pumpkins out. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I've been enjoying a fair few autumn decorating vlogs. Our pumpkin oven mitt is about as far as we go. I really wish Anthropology would do more of these round, well they're not oven mitts, they're pot holders, but they're really good as an oven mitt. Anyway, I'm gonna head upstairs because I wanted to spend today getting a few of those jobs done that you think, oh, I need to do that because they're not essential. And you often have other stuff you need to prioritize day to day and they tend to get pushed back a lot. So I thought I'd do some of that stuff today. Or they're saying that. I feel like I've had quite a productive week. Although I felt like death. I've made sure I had my home comforts and I um, snuggled snuggled down in my office and I've had um I've done lots of editing. I had some stuff that I needed to do this morning. So I got that done when I dropped a line off at school. And I've got some more bits to do later. But I also thought I'd do a few bits a day that I've been meaning to do. One of those things in get the summer clothes in the attic later last night i got doug to truck me down some of the winter stuff that i bagged up did i vlog it i think i may have vlogged when i bagged these up i'm looking at these now and there definitely has to be more bags he said that this was all that was there but there's definitely more because i remember there's a jacket and another jumper we're going to get a loft ladder soon which will mean that i'll be able to go up there myself currently and which has been the situation since we lived here um doug has to we do have a, a kind of we do have a ladder but it's not the easiest to get up or he just kind of climbs up into the attic which i just i can't do anyway either way i can make a start on this stuff i'm not going to do everything today i'm just going to get started on Putting some stuff away. Got my acne scarf, which I'll definitely wear, so I'm gonna get that out. Another scarf. Can't see me there. I'm also going to put a few bits up on my Depop. I mean, I've still got other stuff that I need to put up on Depop, and I just never get round to doing it. There's a few bits I know I definitely want to sell, like the jacket, which I think is still in the attic. And then I think there's probably a couple of things in these bags 
that I'll want to sell to. I have a pile of stuff here that I know I want to put on my Depop. This jumper's a maybe. I feel really attached to this jumper for some reason. Can't bring myself to get rid of it, but then I don't, I haven't worn it for a good, good few years now. And I've popped everything else here. So I need to sort out this middle drawer um, before I put any of the winter stuff in. I've had my Lem sip and now I'm in need of some caffeine. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Although I'm feeling like I'm going to need lunch soon because I'm feeling quite peckish. Before I get on and take photos of this stuff, I'm going to take a quick break to talk about Skillshare, who have sponsored today's video. I'm excited to tell you about the class that I've been taking recently um, because I've been really enjoying it. But for those of you who don't know who Skillshare are, they are an online learning community where you can learn a new skill, get creative. They have hundreds of classes to pick from. Some of you may remember back when I worked with Skillshare earlier on in the year that I took a embroidery class. Recently, I've done a class taught by Jonathan Van Ness, who I love, and his class on Skillshare is called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self. And honestly, it was everything I didn't know I needed. The classes touch on so many different things, from a bit of yoga, breathing, meditation, at-home pampering, but he also touches on some really important topics surrounding the way we think and feel. I really liked episode four and five. They actually made me um, quite emotional where he spoke about limiting beliefs and positive and negative thoughts and the way we talk to ourselves. It's all in very bite-sized videos. So I found myself popping it on when I was doing my makeup and had it on in the background. It's just a lovely class. And I don't know what it is about Jonathan. He just always makes you feel it always puts me in a good mood. I'll leave a link in the description. The first 1,000 of you to sign up using my link will get one month free trial to Skillshare to explore all the classes to see if anything takes your fancy, if you'd like to work on some old skills or learn something completely new. I'm gonna get on and take these photos. This scarf was an accidental purchase that I couldn't return. It's huge and I just don't wear it so that it's, it's brand new, never worn. I can't decide if I want to sell this or not because I look at it now and I think oh I really like it but then I never really wore it. I have another knitted hoodie which I always pick to wear over this one so I just think if it doesn't get worn what is the point in me holding on to it? I can't work out whether I'm whispering or shouting at you because all of a, my ears have gone really blocked all of a sudden. When I asked on Instagram what kind of stuff you'd like to see over October, I had a fair few people asking for a winter wardrobe update and honestly there's not much to update you on because um, it's all just going to be stuff that you've seen year after year. But I do have one new item which I'm yet to try on. I ordered it from London Works but it's um, it's an old French Connection jumper. It's cropped so it seems like the perfect jumper to wear with a dress. Can't beat the classic cable knit and I love this one. This is definitely going to be one to wear with my Levi's because my Levi's are high waist whereas, well these are, <laughs> I say my Levi's, these are also Levi's but these are um, like they're high rise rather than high waisted. These stop below my belly button. So if I didn't have this t-shirt on, it would, I mean, it would just about cover, but it, yeah, it's not, these aren't, these aren't really the right jeans to be wearing with this. But if I had my other ones on that cover my belly button, uh, this would work a lot better. Part of me was hoping that although it said it was cropped, it would be a bit longer and it would fall kind of hip length on me because I do tend to find that a lot of jumpers the arms and the length of the body are longer on me than they are on the models but that doesn't seem to be the case this time I feel so cozy I don't want to take this off now um but yeah I thought I'd show you that as it's a um 
new addition to my autumn winter wardrobe but yeah apart from that and apart from the cardigan that i have worn for a couple of vlogs recently that's oh no hang on hang on <laughs> there is one more there is this uh, jumper from and other stories i'm very sure i can link this not quite sure if i can link this um i'll see i'll see what i can do um but yeah that's it really i'm gonna go make myself some lunch now because i am quite hungry lunch today it's definitely got to be soup not only is it wet and windy outside i want all all the comfort food right now i'm not just gonna have bread or toast with it i'm gonna make myself a cheese toasty last winter i bought a toasty maker it's one of those things that i always thought would be quite nice to have but then thought would it end up being one of those kitchen gadgets that just sits in the cupboard going unused but actually um we used it a lot during the colder months i would use it in the week we'd use it most weekends um like doug and delilah loved having toasties and we ended up using it loads so i'm gonna make a cheese toasty to go with my soup i'm not just gonna make a cheese toasty i'm going to make a cheese and marmite toasty which brings the cheese toasty game up a notch it gives it an extra something i guess it's the same as putting worcester sauce on top of cheese toast i've always said worcester sauce is it Worcester sauce or is it Worcestershire sauce? I'm going to do Marmite, cheese, bit of butter. Cheese. This bit is very simple, so I don't really need to tell you how to make a toasty. Butter side down. Cheese. Oh, I've not done the Marmite. I'm doing it all wrong. Oh no. Okay, I don't mean to alarm anyone. But we have run out of Marmite. Which way around am I doing it? Oh, I've done this so wrong. I've done this so wrong. Right. I need a bit of butter on this side as well now. Oh crap. Oh bloody hell. Cheese. We've had some spillage. Whoopsie. I'm gonna cozy up on the sofa whilst I have my lunch and stick on a YouTube video. I can feel my lem sit starting to wear off now, so I might need to take some passive tomorrow in a bit. I'm pretty sure I have a Grack vlog to watch that I started watching the other day but didn't finish. Very cozy autumnal day, that is exactly what I want to watch right now. So I've already been to pick Delilah up from school, um, but I ran out of time earlier to explain Doug's mum was taking her to ballet tonight. Somewhat a long story, and I'll try and make it short. I really need to put this plant somewhere that's not here on my desk, because it's about twice the size it was when I first put it there. <laughs> Basically, Delilah's been invited to an extra ballet class every Thursday evening to go on, um, on top of her saturday class that she takes but obviously i can't drive yet and um doug's not home to drive on a thursday when i got that email it was the final push to um, make me want to get my license i started driving lessons and took my theory test which i passed first time but now has expired because it's been two years so i need to take it again when i started that a few years back i d i did it because i felt like i had to um, whereas now I feel really ready. I feel excited at the thought that I'll have what I should. I will. I will. I will hopefully have a license this time next year. I, I'm just going to say I will. I will be able to drive this time next year and that makes me so excited. Whereas before I felt a bit hesitant. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs um, of <laughs> driving and why it's taken me this long. Yeah, the final straw for me was her ballet um i didn't want her to miss out just because i couldn't drive we've been getting buses trains and some weeks we've had friends and family um really kindly take us there i'm so bad at asking for help i, I never want to be a nuisance and um, the last couple of weeks doug's mum has taken us she offered to take her and said that she'd love to take her to ballet um 
and I just think oh only if you're sure I don't don't want to be a pain today she said well why don't you just stay home today and get some get some stuff done because really there's no point in both of us um, going I'm gonna do some editing I have a vlog to upload and I was feeling really smug thinking it's all good to go it's been ready for a couple of days had I done the thumbnail no <laughs> So I've got to do the thumbnail now. I hadn't planned on nuttering for so long. Um, but yeah, so driving, for anyone wondering, is in the works. I I signed up, so I did have my theory test booked and then it got cancelled like the day before. Uh, and I was, I was gutted because I had really um, put everything into revising for the week leading up to the um, test. I feel like my voice has gone very croaky. <laughs> I seem to understand everything a bit more and be retaining the information a bit more whereas a few years ago when I started the whole driving thing something wasn't clicking but I think now because I'm excited and I feel ready that's possibly why um, I'm finding it a bit easier but I signed up with this website called Pass Me Fast. I'm this close to asking for my deposit back and sourcing the driving lessons myself because it seems that I can get lessons actually quicker, even though Pass Me Fast was saying that they could get them for me quicker. But then there's a massive backlog with driving tests and oh. But the plan is I'll do an intensive driving course. So not su not not mega intense. I'll probably do the hours over, over six weeks. And then I take my test at the end of that. This company said that they would get me lessons and my driving license by February. Um, but I don't know. Here's hoping, but I'm very, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm done now. I just want to be able to drive Delilah around places. It would have been done a bit sooner, but because of everything that's happened the last two years, it's been quite difficult to um, get tests and instructors and stuff. So I sort of just waited for everything to blow over a bit. I've got a good hour now to get on with this stuff. I'm really hoping I can get this thumbnail done quickly um, because I really wanted to get on with editing another Vlogtober. I feel quite on top of editing. I, I made sure I pre-filmed the first couple of Vlogtobers so that I, I, I wasn't um, having to edit up until the last minute that it needs to be uploaded uh, and it just gives me more leeway on days like when I'm not feeling great if Delilah gets unwell or if some sponsored stuff gets pushed back or anything like that um so yeah I feel good I feel on quite on top of things and usually when I've done these every other day monthly upload or every other day every other month uploads so I don't know what to call them they usually have a half term right at the beginning or maybe in the middle but a lot of the time they'll be at the beginning and then already okay I can film the content but I then have no time to edit the content and then I'm already off to a very um, sort of rushed start whereas half term isn't until the end of the month um, this month yeah anyway I'm not going to get anything done if I keep talking and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear my bummed up voice anymore I have to say my nose has been much better today yesterday I couldn't stop blowing it oh and I had so many sneezing fits yesterday you know when you sneeze so much you think Oh, oh, I can't take it anymore. Stop sneezing. <laughs> Come out in this like rash that I always get towards the end of any sickness that I get. But it's like it's my immune system just sort of kicking in. And I always know that I'm towards the end of it if <laughs> my whole, like my whole stomach and shoulders and back is covered in this, um, this like, this hives, I guess. And it's not, it's not the bug. It is just a cold. This is just what my body does. My favourite thing to do when I'm doing my descriptions and thumbnails, when I don't need to be editing, because when I'm editing, I can't have music on in the background. I need to be able to hear what I'm editing. Um, my favorite thing to do is put um, covers on, people's um, covers of songs on um, on YouTube in the background. I feel like you guys are a f like a friend at school when you should be getting on with your work, like your computer work or something in IT. And um, instead, you and your friend are just looking up. Well, me and my friend used to, we used to scare ourselves silly when the teacher wasn't looking. We used to Google because like the internet back then wasn't particularly what's the word? It wasn't particularly high tech. I don't even think YouTube was a thing, or maybe it was just about a thing. We used to go online and find stories about real life ghost stories and videos and pictures and stuff and to absolutely scare ourselves when really we should have been doing IT work or basically or just chatting or just chatting when we should have been doing our work 
Um, and this is what's happening right now. You're distracting me. Delilah's back from ballet. Hi. Ooh, are you freezing? Yeah. I know it's chilly, isn't it? Should we get some gym jams on? Nope. nope. I need to show you my ballet. You need to show me your ballet. Got beautiful. Actually. Yeah. Do you do that to help you balance? That's why you Lovely. Oh, oh, it's got really, really windy and rainy. Our garden is looking very unloved. The sweet peas have finally died and everything else is looking a bit sad. Apart from the black eyed Susans, which are loving life. Would you like pesto or cheese on your pasta? dinner for this one tonight as it's already way past her usual dinner time. We need to get you showered and into bed soon, don't we? You're in the flash. You're in the flash? You see that until I'm in the sitting room. Sitting down. Do this until I'm in the system. But you want me to do a transition for you? Yeah. I've been instructed that I need to um, transition between the kitchen to the sitting room. I've been watching too much YouTube. Ready? We're going to transition. I'm going to go. Go. I feel like I've slowly deteriorated. Deteriorate. 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 Why can't I say the word? Deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorate. The more I say it, the less it sounds like a word. I've slowly got to worse throughout the day. I am so ready to have dinner, chill, and go to bed. This hoodie is from Mango, by the way. Um, it's new, I should be able to link it. I've given up on trying to make keep my makeup looking nicer. Now I've got a very red nose. D just want to get this off my face. I think I'm looking pretty great right now. Top notch, never looked better. I look so strange right now because I've, I've changed out of my jeans, but I um, I want to wash my long warmer pyjamas, so I've just stuck on my shorts. Just went to upload a vlog, only to realise whilst I was doing the last little bit of um, the, the end slate where I had the video, I realised the end slate was wrong. So I had two end slates that were sent to me last year because one of them didn't quite work and I had to swap them round re-export and re-upload and we're gonna have to transfer all the details over it won't take long it's, t it's just a bit of a faff yeah but that's all sorted now i'm gonna stop talking because this is just the worst biting and the worst angle these feel so good on my face oh they're so cold I, like i've spent today either being i haven't got a fever or anything but i'm either one minute i'm freezing and the next i'm really warm and i can't quite work out whether i'm hot or cold right now but my face feels quite hot and so these are lovely and cold oh they feel really good oh is there anything better than taking your makeup off at the end of the day i think not i mean there probably is 
plenty of things, but you know. We had our fireplace cleaned out yesterday. I'm trying to think which candles I want to light. Yeah, we had our fire cleaned out yesterday, but we said we won't have a fire now. It's a little bit too soon, maybe a bit later on in the month. Doug's just gone out to get some firewood because we thought, should we have a fire tonight? It's really cold and miserable outside. I feel rubbish, Doug still feels a bit rubbish. Um, he's like a couple of days, he's a couple of days ahead of me with this cold. Let's go for this one. This was a, oh, I don't know what it was called, something pumpkin. <laughs> a very autumnal smelling one from um, Anthropology last year. I might like this one as well. Actually, I might put this one, keep this one here. This has just run out of charge. It's a good job we've got some matches. Yeah, we've got takeout on the way. There's a film that we want to watch. I mean, it's Thursday, it's Thursday night, but we're going all out. We're just gonna have a really nice evening in. I know, we'll forget that it's Thursday and pretend it's the weekend. I finally found a basket to store some logs in and some fire lighters and some kindling. We were using a basket from the garden and I didn't really like having it on show. I didn't like what it looked like. It just looked a bit odd in here because it's for the garden and not for a living room. I found this. I am pretty sure it's from The Little Deer. I ordered it on Truva, but it was through The Little Deer. I made the mistake. So this is a small one and it's actually quite big. And even though I measured, I made the mistake of ordering a medium and a large and they were huge. The small is plenty big enough. I mean, um, we also have our store under the stairs as well and then extra wood outside. But it's nice to have some right by the fire when you need to just chuck on a log when it needs another one. It's officially the first fire of the season. Whoops, Ah, oh, I've made a right old mess. I feel like it's officially autumn now. I had to walk to the shop yesterday just before the sun set and it was really chilly and it had that kind of feel that you get during winter, early autumn, early spring kind of time. And I all of a sudden felt really excited about, well I mean not that I'm <laughs> Not that I need much to make me excited about autumn and Christmas. There are bits of winter that I do like, but um, I do find that I struggle with my mood during the winter months. So really, my favourite ones are from now until the end of December. All the coziness and that during um, the start of a year, I do find that my mood takes a takes a dive. I suddenly felt really excited for the next few months. It's funny, isn't it, how the um, the air changes, it's just, the air feels different. I feel that I always get this like feeling of like, nostalgia, it feels nostalgic to me, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, oh, just, I love it. could probably put another log on. Forgot how much I missed that sound of the wood popping. Ooh, dinner has arrived. Just ran upstairs to get my hot water bottle. I'm gonna be warm enough with the fire, but um, my tummy has started to hurt because I'm pretty sure my PMT has kicked in. So I'm filling this up so I can put it on my tummy and my back. Got a nice spicy, spicy red Thai curry, which will hopefully help to unblock, unblock my sinuses. Just put my vlog live and I, I, don't know, I don't know why, but I'm a bit nervous. The film we're going to watch is called The Starlin. It has Melissa, McCart Melissa McCarthy and who else? Mm. Doug just said Chris O'Dowd, who was in the IT crowd, amongst other other things. I thought that was a really interesting pairing, and the film looks good. So yeah, we've um, we're gonna watch that on Netflix. The living room is feeling, dare I say it, very cosy. I'm gonna have to take this jumper off because um, <laughs> I'm, I'm very warm now. Thanks for keeping me company today. I think it did me good getting dressed and putting some makeup on even though it didn't physically make me feel better it mentally made me feel better and um you guys you guys kept me company i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i will see you in a couple of days